So guys, these are the items I'll be using. Um, my yarn, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. It's in a color pink camo. I'll be using my 4.0 millimeter hook. My needle to weave in my ends. My scissors and it's optional but I use it in some instances my measuring tape so we're gonna start off by making a slip knot and this is how we make the slip knot and make a chain of 71 And 71 so what we do after making our chain of 71 and this measures for a size small and for me to make bigger sizes what you can do is add 10, chain, 10 more chains to go up a size bigger <clears throat> and this should measure from shoulder to shoulder just off the shoulder bone to on the other side of the shoulder bone and that's how you can determine if it will be a perfect fit for you so this measures in inches without being stretched approximately 20, 21 inches all right, so it measures approximately 21 inches and this should go from shoulder bone to shoulder bone because we're going to work from it's a crop top so we're going to work from wherever you want your crop top to start going up towards your neck area so that's how we're going to work the top so after we made our chain of 71 i placed a stitch marker on the 71st stitch and now I'm gonna make <clears throat> five chains. Two will act as a double crochet to the corner of our work. We're gonna make three chains, which will act as our turning chain. And we're gonna go into the ninth. Like having you around Chain. So let's go to the chain with a double crochet. And to make a double crochet, we yarn over like this. Go into our ninth stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over again. Pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So to understand what I just did, I demonstrated it on a piece of paper. This is our chain 71 going this way. Our chain two going up this way acts as the side of our work. And then we make a chain three and come back into the ninth stitch. So it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's what we did here and made our double crochet into this stitch. So now we're gonna chain three. Go into the fourth chain and make a double crochet. So that's how we make our net stitch. 
on a chain three again. So we're approaching the end of our first row and we're gonna add our double crochet into the last stitch. So your work should look like this. And now we're gonna chain two. Turn our work and now we're going to place three chains to our three chains is going to act as the three chain on top here. So the chain two will act as our corner post, our double crochet corner post. Our chain three is going to act as this chain three here and now we're gonna place a double crochet on top of our previous row double crochet so this will be the start of row two chain three place a double crochet on top of our previous row double crochet and it repeats till the end so we're gonna just continue this pattern of chain three double crochet Like off camera, my work does not give any trouble. On camera, it tangles. It doesn't want to go into the loop. I don't know. I'm guessing that my crochet needle is camera shy. So chain three, double crochet. And we continue this and I'll meet you guys back at the end. So this is what it will look like so far it's coming along really nicely the colors are very pretty row two row one and we're gonna continue until you get to the, your desired size or length so this will be the length of the top and the width will be from shoulder to shoulder so if you want to make the crop top that it falls far off the shoulder and the arms are very long 
you can make your chain longer your starting chain longer if you want it to fit snugly on your body you can just a few inches two to three inches from the collarbone from the shoulder bone so that it will fit nice and comfortably so I'm gonna continue working and making rows be the front I'm gonna make an exact exact replica of this for the back and then we're gonna work on the arms and attaching the pieces together and making our fringe or any desired style on the outside on the edges so I'm gonna meet you back to the end of this row so this is what the end of row 2 will look like and now that we've gotten back to where we started on row, well to the end of row 1 in width so for the arm panel I went ahead and chained 56 now this is depending on your size you need to chain how much that fits around your arm so I chained my 56 and I went up five chains and went into the ninth chain in order to make the first block so after I chained my 56 I went ahead and chain five two for the side panel three for here and i went into the ninth with a double crochet so i explained this in the beginning of the video so i give a detailed explanation in the beginning of the video with what i did in order to achieve the first block with the extra five chains and i'm gonna show you how I attach so you just put both sides together because it's no wrong or right side so what I do I place both sides together and line, line them up really nicely <clears throat> And it should look like this but what we're gonna do first is attach the shoulders so you're gonna measure how much space you want for your neck to fit and let me just show you on this completed So this is what I did before, right? And it's on the wrong side at the moment. So what you wanna do to join your top is start off by attaching the shoulders. And I joined it on one, two, three, four blocks. I joined four blocks on this side for the shoulder and four on the other. 
So that's the first step. You can make slip knot, single crochet on your shoulders and join them. And on the other end, the same thing. One, two, three, four, and if you want, you can place stitch marker. It's just four blocks account, so you shouldn't go past it. And this is where the neck will be. Start from the corner here and single stitch to attach my shoulders. So let's just put this back in place and make a knot so you can start to single stitch. it like this, pull that loop, loop up, and restart. So to make the single stitch, we don't yarn over, and in each block, you can place two single crochet. One. Make sure your work is lined up at all times two single crochet in one block and also place a single crochet on the top of the double crochet so that's why your work should be lined up at all times so it looks very neat and uniform single crochet until we meet our stitch marker single This will be our last single crochet because we've met our stitch marker so chain one and cut off the yarn and pull it through so this is our completed shoulder this is where our shoulder will be resting so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and I'll meet you back when it's time to do the arm. So now that I've done my shoulders and you can see that it's attached, this is where my neck will go and my shoulders are resting here. So I turn it on the right side and this is my sleeve, right? So. My sleeve will go onto it like this and I place a stitch marker to the center of the sleeve and that stitch marker will go exactly where I did my attach, attached sleeve, well my attached shoulder. Okay, so I line it up like this. This is on the right side of the top. And you want to place the sleeve like this and we're gonna we're gonna do the same thing we just did with the shoulder and single stitch from this end and line up our squares very nicely from this end to the other end of the sleeve Okay, so make sure that your stitch marker, which is the center of your sleeve, is lined up with your shoulder. Okay, okay so I attached the sleeve, the stitch marker, 
to my work so it doesn't come off so all I need to do now is start and ensure that all my work is lined up and single stitch on the top of the work so let me start and show you guys what I mean So just attach a yarn, right, and the same concept applies. So you do two, we're going to do two. single crochet in each box one and two and one single crochet on top of our double crochet so I went ahead and crocheted my sleeve and I already snipped off my yarn so this is the right side and I'm going to go ahead and do the same single crochet that we've been doing all along to join our work. So you can see the top is coming in very nicely. Let me just turn it around. So this is where the neck goes our sleeve and this is the right side so to close off the work I'm going to turn it back on the wrong side and all these ends will be weaved into the work so you're going to start from here single crochet all the way down so I'm going to finish off the sleeve and single crochet all the way down I'll come back when it's all done and, and the ends are weaved in so this is what the completed crop top should look like after it's fully assembled and all the excess yarns are tucked away. Let's get a look at the back. It is very gorgeous. The colors are very pretty. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And click the notification bell to see more videos.